I'm Dr. Yap. I'm the anesthesiologist from University of Malaysia, Sabah. Today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how is the process of the insertion of nasogastric tube. First of all, we must know the indication for a nasogastric tube insertion. Commonly, it is used for patients to decompress the stomach due to a uh, gastric outlet obstruction or is there any bowel pathology. Secondly, it is also used for patients to feed the patient with uh, nutrition. Commonly, it is also used to administer drugs or any medications who patients who cannot tolerate orally or physiologically. So, these are the indication for nasogastric tube insertion. However, we must identify what are the types of patients who are contraindicated for the insertion of nasogastric tube. For example, patient with basal or skull fracture, patient with bleeding tendency, especially epistaxis. Okay, so these are the type of patients we should be worried when insertion of the nasogastric tube is performed. Before we proceed further for the performance of the nasogastric tube insertion, let me show you what are the equipments or the apparatus that are needed for the insertion. Most importantly, we must have our gloves, appropriate size of glove, together with the appropriate size of the rice tube. There are many sizes that's available. Depends on what type of patient that we're inserting, adults or pediatrics. So, for adult population, commonly we use size 14 or 16 French. Depends on the body size of the patient. So these are the three common types of the uh, nasogastric tube or the rice tube that we use. And you can see here, French, 16 French of the rice tube, which means that the bigger the number or the bigger the French number, the bigger the size of the diameter of the rice tube. For example, here we have 14 French and a 16 French of the rice tube. So 14 is smaller than 16, therefore the diameter of the uh, tube is significantly smaller than the 16 French uh, rice tube. Same goes to the 14 and the size 12. All right. For this is a size 12 French uh, rice tube, so it is smaller diameter as compared to the 14. So this is 14, this is 12, the diameter is smaller for the 12 French uh, rice tube. So we must have the um, syringe to, for us to confirm the placement of the rice tube. Okay, and the KY jelly to ensure that it is lubricated, it's a type of analgesia for the patient. And we must have the plaster or elastoplast when we anchor the um, rice tube onto the patient. Confirmation of the rice tube insertion must be confirmed using a stethoscope, okay, auscultated onto the epigastrium when we flush in air from the rice tube. So I'm going to show you the process now. Hi, Mrs. Ellis. I'm Dr. Yap. Today I'm going to insert a rice tube onto you because that you have a bloated abdomen and then you cannot uh, swallow properly. Therefore, we fear that you may have any aspiration. That's why we want to insert a rice tube for you to decompress and remove the air from your uh, stomach. Is it okay for you? All right, so let me tell you the procedure whereby we put a tube through your nostrils and then it will go into the stomach. So you feel a bit uncomfortable, uneasy, but don't worry. I will put some uh, lubricant that's called a KY jelly containing some uh, anesthetic agent whereby you will feel not so painful during the process of me inserting the, the tube. So for being through this tube will be here for at least uh, two to three days until your condition improve. Right? So the complication of us uh, inserting this uh, nasogastric tube will include some bleeding from your nose, okay? Maybe there's some infection at the nostrils, and then uh, it may go into the uh, base of the skull, or you may have some complication whereby it's rare to perforate your 
feeding tube okay, so esophagus all right but don't worry we will take precautionary matter will be gentle throughout the procedure and make sure that you are comfortable are you all right thank you So first, we must measure the distance of the rice tube using the tip of the rice tube from the nostrils to the ear lobe and then after that, from the distance into the epigastric region. So the distance is about 50, uh, 50 uh, centimeters. Okay, so around 60 centimeters, the distance of the our tube which must be passed down from the patient's nostrils. So after that, we must make sure that lubricant is been put onto the patient rice tube. Okay, entire tube is possible. And then gently, we must tell the patient. All right, Mrs. Alice, I'm going to insert the rice tube onto you. You may feel a bit uncomfortable. Please bear with me. So, so the rice tube gentle. So sorry, Mrs. Alice. Gently we thread the rice tube until the length that we want that is around 60 centimeters. Okay. So 50, 55, 60. Alright. So 60 centimeters is our mark. Right? We are at 60 centimeters. Okay, we will ask our assistant to inflate some, insufflate some air into the um, distal end of this and then we will listen at the epigastric region for the air gargling sound. Alright, can you please help me? Okay, there's an air. I will ask to the epigastrium. All right, push, push. All right. Thank you. All right, Mrs. Ellis is in. Okay, thank you very much for your cooperation. So after we have inserted the rice tube, we have to anchor it using the plaster. Okay, at the length of 60 centimeter. With the distal end, we will connect to our back. All right. So for the gastric juices to be exited from the feeding or the nasogastric tube. So after we have end the procedure, please thank the patient. Thank you Mrs. Alice for your cooperation. Thank you very much. So we like the patient and we can complete our insertion of the rice tube. Let me explain the anatomy of the rice tube or the nasopharynx, nasogastric tube. Okay, this is a nasogastric tube or also known as a rice tube, which is which was manufactured in April 2020 and expiry date was will be on April or March 2025 as stipulated here. The size is 14 French, 105 cm in length. Okay, and then this rice tube is containing the radio opaque line which is very important for us this is called the radio opaque line why because uh, it can be seen when we doing a chest x-ray so the length of this uh, rice tube is 105 centimeters and the end over here is the um, end which contains the uh, a bit of mercury for us to monitor the uh, presence of the uh, presence of it during the chest x-ray process so this is containing the fenestration okay a bit of fenestration for the solvent to exit at the distal end okay so this is the length okay 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 centimeters okay uh, from the end of the uh, from the from the tube itself okay so this is the place whereby we anchor it to a bag 
for the stomach content to exit or we confirm the placement of the rice tube with uh, syringe in supplemented with air put under it whereby we escort it at the epigastrium area to hear for any gargling sound the air present so this is the anatomy of the uh, rice tube